Hey everyone, I am Nidhi Sharma and welcome to Economics Tech Auction where I share the essence of economics. So in this video, we are going to learn about different types of goods. We will learn about their different characteristics, how their elasticities are different, how does income effect and substitution effect work in, kind, in case of these goods respectively. We are going to discuss all about that. So make sure that you watch this video till the end and if you are new to the channel, please subscribe and also hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So yeah, let's get started. First we will learn about normal goods. A normal good means that an increase in income causes an increase in demand and a decrease in income leads to a decrease in demand of these goods. And also, so this means that the income effect has is positive in case of normal goods and income elasticity of demand is also positive as they have a positive relation with income. As you can see, as the income moves, the demand for good moves in the same direction. When the income increases, demand for these goods also increases. When the income decreases, the demand for normal goods also decreases. So hence we can say that they have a positive income elasticity of demand. And when we talk about the price effect, the price effect is negative in case of normal goods. When the price is higher, we our demand for normal goods is lower. And when the price is lower, our demand for normal goods is higher. So this shows that these normal goods are preferred when the prices are low. This shows that they have a negative price effect. So the example of normal goods can be anything which we generally use in our day-to-day -day life that is clothing, furniture, motor vehicles. So these are perfect examples of normal goods. So the, for the normal goods, income effect and substitution effect work in the same direction. I have already made a video or regarding price effect, income effect and substitution effect where I have explained these concepts in detail. So the link of which is provided in the description box. So make sure that you check that out as well. So when the price of a normal good falls down the, and results in increase in purchasing power, income effect will act in the same direction as the substitution effect. Let's understand this thing. <clears throat> when the price of a normal goods falls down, the real income of the consumer increases. Now real income means the income of the consumer taking in account the price level. So when the price level of a com commodity of a normal good decreases, the real income of a consumer increases and this makes him buy more and more of this commodity. Hence, the consumer will substitute towards these goods for towards the normal goods when the prices are low. So this shows a negative price effect and a positive income effect. So both the price effect Sorry, both the income effect and substitution effect will work towards increasing the quantity demanded of the commodity whose price has fallen down. Now let's understand what is inferior goods. Inferior goods means an increase in income causes a fall in demand and a decrease in income causes an increase in demand. So here we can see that in case of inferior goods, the income effect is negative. The inferior goods have a negative relationship with income. When the income is high, the demand for inferior goods is low. When the income is low, the demand for inferior goods is high. So we can see that the in case of inferior goods, the income effect is less than substitution effect as in, inferior goods have easily available substitutes. Hence, substitution effect is stronger as compared to income effect in case of inferior goods. So popular example of uh, inferior goods is bajra, dalda ghee or low quality rice etc. These are considered as inferior goods. <coughs> now these are the Giffen goods. See understand the Giffen goods very well because these Giffen goods are the only goods which are an exception to the law of demand. Giffen goods are those goods whose demand increases as price increases and demand decreases as price decreases. We have already learned about the law of demand in my previous video, the link of which is also provided in the description box. If you have not watched it, please watch it and make sure that you understand the concept of law of demand well because it's a very important concept of economics which states that keeping all other factors or the all other determinants of demand to be constant when price of a commodity increases 
quantity demanded of that commodity decreases and vice versa so we can see that the price of a commodity and quantity demanded has a negative relationship when price increases quantity demanded decreases when price decreases quantity demanded increases but given goods given goods are an exception to the law of demand because its demand increases when the price is high and its demand decreases when the price is low so <clears throat> inferior goods for which there is a direct price demand relationship is known as given goods so the demand curve for a given good would be upward sloping or have a, it will have a positive slope so here we can clearly say that given goods are an are an exception to the law of demand you can clearly read here that given goods have negative income effect and a positive price effect as i have said earlier that they have a positive relationship with price so given in case of given goods income effect is more than the substitution effect now necessity goods necessity goods are those goods which are needed for basic human existence these goods generally have inelastic demand for example food salt essential medicines etc so necessity goods are basically those goods which are of utmost important for us which are necessary for our existence such as food salt is also a necessity goods few essential medicines which are life saving drugs are considered as necessity goods so the uh, so generally they have an inelastic demand what does inelastic demand means <laughs> inelastic demand means that whatever would be the change in price the demand for these goods is going to be constant that means even if the price gets goes higher the demand for it would not fall down it would be constant and hence we get a vertically sloped demand curve in case of inelastic demand if you want to learn more about elasticity of demand the link of it is provided in the description box make sure that you check that out i have discussed about various types of elasticities in detail in that video so make sure that you check that out as well for your broadened economics knowledge luxury goods luxury goods means an increase in income causes a bigger percentage increase in demand it means that the income elasticity of demand is greater than one so luxury goods are those goods which are demanded in a higher proportion when the in when the income increases for example if your in in income has increased by 10% then the increase in demand for the luxury goods would be 25% so this basically shows that the income elasticity of demand is greater than one that is they have a highly elastic demand okay so when income rises people spend a higher percentage of their income on luxury goods so the expenditure or the demand for luxury goods is more when there is a increase in income so they have a positive relationship with income now comes the concept of veblen goods a good when a, where an increase in price encourages people to buy more of it because of its exclusive nature and status symbol is considered to be a veblen good so basically very expensive cars diamond rings all these products are considered as veblen goods because the owner wants to own these goods due to its exclusive nature and status symbol the owner uh, an owner of an very expensive car would be considered as belonging to a very higher income group, group people so that's why a person would demand a consumer will demand a veblen good or a very expensive good for its exclusive nature and status symbol because the consumers think that the more expensive a good is the better is the quality so here when the quality is compared with the price that leads to veblen effect that means a higher is the price the better is the quality this is the psychology of a consumer when he or she demands a veblen goods so in case of veblen goods the price effect is positive because when there is an increase in price the consumers demand more and more of that good so if there is a very expensive car a consumer who wants to own a such uh, expensive cars would like to buy a car which is relatively ex more expensive so if there is a car of 1 crore and if there is a car car of 1.5 crore 
a person who is concerned regarding its exclusive nature and status symbol would always prefer a car which is of 1.5 crore over 1 crore so this is basically the idea of webland goods we can also give the example of a diamond ring that is also a kind of webland good because the more expensive a ring is the more it would be demanded due to its exclusive nature so i hope that the concept is of webland goods is now clear to you and by this we come to the end of this video thank you so much for watching if you want this if you if you feel this video is helpful for you please hit the like button also subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video keep studying i'll see you soon in my next video